All right. Um, I, it's five in the morning. Just getting home. Wanted to make a video right away. All right. Deontay Wilder is fighting Gerald Washington. Cool. Okay. My very last video, I said that Deontay Wilder should fight Gerald Washington. So obviously, I'm cool with the fight. But what I'm not gonna do is make this make it seem like this fight is the fight. It's the biggest fight. It's shut people up. It, it's not one of those fights, okay? I said that they should fight under the conditions that they're in right now. Deontay Wilder promised this guy a fight. He is coming off of two injuries, okay? He was going to fight a worse fighter, in my opinion, a guy that I thought was a bum. I don't think Gerald Washington is a bum. I think Gerald Washington is a, a is a little better than Warzik. But that's just my opinion. They never fought. And I think Gerald Washington is a better fighter. All right. So I'm glad Deontay Wilder is giving him an opportunity because he said he was going to give him an opportunity. And I do think that Gerald Washington is a solid fighter. But that's as far as it go. All right. What I have a problem with is extremes, okay? We're not going to make it seem like this fight is the fight. We're not going to do that. At least I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make it seem like this is the fight I want to see. I obviously would have rather seen Deontay Wilder fight uh, King Kong, Luis Ortiz, all right? But we weren't going to get that fight because that fight is his own fight. We're going to get a full training camp for that fight. That is a legit fight. Just like the Pavekian fight was. Okay? Supposed to be. All right? That is a real fight. I wouldn't expect Deontay Wilder to fight Luis Ortiz right now as a replacement fighter. Okay? Would I love it as a boxing fan? Hell yeah. It's a way better fight than Gerald Washington. But we're not going to get that right now because I'm being realistic. When I made that video, I was being realistic because I know I know Deontay Wilder would not fight this guy with four weeks as a replacement fighter. It's just not realistic. I knew that this guy has failed the drug test before. And the problem that Wilder is having right now with some of his opponents is that they're failing their drug tests. Why would he fight a fighter that recently failed a drug test a couple years ago? Okay? It doesn't make sense. He opted out of that, and it makes sense why he brought that up. Okay? Being realistic right now isn't about, I, I know what I want. I want the best to fight the best, but I'm being realistic. As a replacement opponent, he's not going to go from Warzik, a guy that we all said that was he was testing his arm and you know making sure he's good to fight with this these injuries coming off of these injuries to go into Luis Ortiz. That's not realistic. Let's be realistic. So what I'm trying to what I the reason why I made this video I made this video because there's too many extremes here okay I've seen Wilder get called a bum a ducker for fighting Gerald Washington who I've seen people say in comments that he's a bum Gerald Washington is not a bum okay he's definitely not a bum but I'm not going to overhype the fight and make it seem like this is the fight we wanted to see. This is a big fight. All right. Gerald Washington is not the best fighter that Deontay Wilder fought. Okay. We have Anthony Joshua fighting Vladimir Klitschko soon. All right. What I don't want to see is people hype this fight up like it's bigger than that fight over there. Because it's not. Okay. It's not. Let's not do that. All right? Let's cut it out with the extremes. I know y'all got your little war on YouTube going on right now, but let's not act like the Wilder fight is 
a huge fight. And let's not act like Gerald Washington is some kind of bum because he's not. All right? It's a solid fight. Nothing more than that. Stay busy fight. A good... I, it's not a tune-up because Gerald Washington is a solid opponent. He he is. Okay? I think Gerald Washington, in my opinion of him, he's everything Wilder is. Not as fast. Not as powerful. All right? Big man, tall guy. Could move well just less as Wilder could. Okay, not the greatest defense. Neither is Wilder. He's not the greatest defensive fighter. The majority of the time they're using defense and moving is when they are moving. Okay? Kind of stiff up top. Wilder should be able to beat him. All right? Without too much damage. He should be able to beat him. Okay? Um, but Washington is a better fighter than Andres Warzik or whatever, however way you say it. I seen a boxing today call him Warzik or something. I don't know exactly how to say his name because I looked it up on videos and I seen his. I've heard his name get called different ways even during the fight. So let's just chill with the bias super extreme opinions about these fights, all right? It's a solid fight, all right? If Deontay Wilder is going to fight the winner of Parker, or or is he going to fight Parker? Is he going to fight the winner of Joshua and Klitschko? Is he going to fight Luis Ortiz? I don't know what he's going to do, but is he going to fight Tyson Fury? These are fights that are real fights, all right? Gerald Washington is not on a higher level than anybody Deontay Wilder already faced. He's at the level as a couple of the fighters that Deontay Wilder has faced already. Okay? So, with that being said, Deontay Wilder should win this fight. I don't know if he's going to get the knockout, but I think he should win this fight. Joshua fought Brazil, all right, that he fought Kingpin, he fought, uh, you know, a few good fighters. I don't think Gerald Washington is above the last few fighters that Anthony Joshua has faced, okay? I think he is a solid guy, maybe a top 20 heavyweight, top 25 heavyweight, all right? Does he have a chance of pulling off the upset? If Wilder is as good as many of us think, he should win this fight. Okay? If Washington is to win this fight, I'll be very disappointed in Deontay Wilder. Okay? Because just imagine, just, just, let's just, just, let's just imagine if Gerald Washington is to win this fight. Dudes is going to be hunting him down for that WBC title. Let's be realistic here. All right. For the few fighters that are avoiding Deontay Wilder, let's just say Gerald Washington won the title. Dudes are going to be knocking on this guy's doorstep to fight him. He's not an avoidable fighter at heavyweight. All right. I don't think Jarrell Miller is above him. I, I've seen people mention him. Gerald M Miller is a solid fighter, too. That's it. He hasn't proven anything. Gerald Washington hasn't proven anything. I think they're both skilled, solid opponents. I don't think they're bums, but I'm not going to sit here and try to overhype the fight neither, like this is some big fight. I will watch the fight, okay? Because it's a solid opponent that I wanted to see while the fight under these conditions. But I'm not going to push it any further than that. You get what I'm saying? Some of you will. Some of you are going to come on here and call Wilder a bum anyway. And some of you are going to say I'm crazy and trying to hate on Wilder. I really don't care. But this kill all the extremes, all right? Because I know you guys... Or emotional, you gotta pick a side. It's just a solid fight. 
even though I wanted to see it, I wanted to see it under these conditions. All right, it's four weeks left, and he needed to replace his shitty opponent from before because that guy was a bum, and we already knew the outcome. Wilder was going to knock this guy out in one or two rounds. We don't need to test his arm. Wilder could knock that guy out in any way possible, all right? So that's my opinion on this fight. I think Wilder is going to win, and that's that.